Hey everybody, it's about almost 10 o'clock and I'm just lying in the bed right now about to run a hot bath so I can be ready for tomorrow morning at my 11 o'clock a.m. appointment and just as I'm like trying to just get into a place of just worship, worshiping God and just peace of God. It's like amazing the it's people people the things they say. I've had the craziest things said to me during this experience and it's just the beginning. And I guess people have I don't know, I guess expectations I had of certain people who that was heartbreaking. Um, and then there's just the questions that are like, I have a question like, Hey, what stage are you in? Hmm. I'm in a stage of believing. I'm in a stage of faith. I'm in a stage of trusting God. Like we weren't even two minutes in the conversation. And what stage are you in? How about how you're doing? I just, oh. Just the things that people say to me and have done to me through this process, you know, it just amazes me. I mean, there's been some acts of of just outrageous support and love and outpouring of love. But then there's just been things of selfishness, you know. <laughs> I've learned one thing, which is even in tragic situations or trying situations when people are selfish it's hard to get away from your human nature even serious situations don't really change a lot of people so it's just rough so i'm just gonna just try to meditate and listen to my music tonight i'm gonna watch a few comedies and laugh and then i'm just gonna put my headphones on listen to pandora contemporary gospel and just like God ministered to me and I don't know about tomorrow but God told me not to worry about tomorrow because his eyes on the sparrow he takes care of them and I'm worth much more than them so tomorrow probably I wouldn't say that it's the hardest day of my life but it's going to be the beginning of it's just reality and I got to deal with reality. I feel like I'm back at square zero all over again. Got a lot of faith built up. But I'm just at square zero. It's just like when they gave me. They found the lump. And I got the results of the biopsy. It's like I'm back at that point. Because now we know it's cancer. We'll find out what's going with the left one. Doesn't really matter too much when you got the right one jacked up. And, you know, I'm just, you know, how some God to take me through. You know, it's just the journey, the journey, the journey. I've just had so many hard things that's happened. Nothing's come easy. And it's just been a lot of hard things, you know, I was in struggle, where I'm going to live, how my money is going to be taken care of, a lot of things I just struggle about, and so it's just, it's never been easy, you know, raising my kids and having thyroid cancer before, it's just been a struggle of the struggle, but God has brought me through. And he's made me strong, a stronger person, you know, but it's just hard when you're just always going through. And then I, because of those struggles, it's caused me to have like a lot of anxiety in my life where I'm scared to do this, scared to do that, scared to do that. Because I'm always waiting for the bottom to fall out. And just when I get in a place, in the space of feeling like I can go. 
then it's I'm just sitting there watching an award show, my family laughing and cracking up and tweeting jokes and feel a large lump in my, my breast. Like, really? I thought this was going to be the year that we were going to be pregnant and having a baby. And now that's just gone. Can't do that with everything going on. So it's a lot that comes with this.